All right, let's, let's take a look at our pulse one more time, and I'll play it again and notice if there's anything different about it. Again, I'll play this at a tempo of 82 beats per minute. Now listen to it. All right, what you heard was an accent or a, a doom sound, let's say a bass sound or a doom sound, on this beat, this beat, this beat, and this beat. Again, just listen to it. All right, and it continues that way. So we see that an accent occurs every fourth beat. Here it is, one, two, three, four, and it occurs here again and here again. So it occurs every fourth beat. Hence, that determines or helps us to determine what the meter is. The meter would be four. In other words, meter refers to how the beats are grouped. In this case, we see that a pattern is emerging, and that's the purpose of accents, is to create patterns in rhythms that repeat over and over, and that's what gives different rhythms their unique character or design based on the accents and patterns that are formed by the accents. So we have a grouping of four beats. Uh, that would be our meter. This would be this song would be in a meter of four. And you can see that what I've done here is assign these groupings of beats into a measure, what's called a measure, uh, which is simply a way of categorizing the beats or you know into their groupings you don't play a measure you don't play a bar line there's no sound to it the beats produce the sound but we just arbitrarily organize them into a, something that we can visually look at and see how these beats are divided up 